welcome back to EVE Online with me, Mark from DadX, and here we are in the lovely Slasher. The same one we first ventured into Losec in and did all those level 1 missions in. Well, just enough. We only had to do 5 to unlock the level 2s, didn't we, by using those skills. Anyway, quick recap on the fit. It's still exactly as it was. It's got the EM shield reinforcer over there to give us a bit of resistances and in adaptive invulnerability field to give us plus 25 percent to all of our resistances when it's running the rest of the fit i'm showing you there it's all just the basic level one bog standard meta one modules and it all comes to just under a million isk which is fine we've got a selection of ammos as i showed you in the level one video to uh match the appropriate type to the rats that we're fighting and the enemies We've got a mighty ship here indeed, and I just carried on into the level 2 missions with this very ship. Just do check on the missions that you are clear on what your objective is. Uh, you do get the prompts during the mission uh, that you never used to in the past to help, but here we go. This is about as hairy as it got in the stabber, in the missions that I did in the stabber, as we shall see later. No problems, just the basic skills, just control the range, get in there and fight them. The invulnerability field is definitely helping keeping the damage down. It's just a question of not letting them crowd on you. Here I'm getting ECM'd by some Garistas so I can lock no targets. Now you see the icon in the centre of the screen there in the middle. It's got the circle running round it. That means I am actually jammed. Unlike many other modules, this not only has to be uh, locked on you and running on you, it has a dice roll to see if it actually works. But do note that even while you're locked, you can still kill the ship that is jamming you. Uh, bear that in mind in PvE and PvP. The ship that's actually causing you to be jammed isn't uh, protected from your locking. And as you can see here, without that ring running around it, um, I'm not actually jammed because it hasn't got the dice roll. So I can just go ahead and lock up the ships at my leisure. So just don't be freaked out when you get that icon. Don't think you're jammed and stop trying to fight. In fact, never stop trying to fight, no matter what the display says. And we took down some battle cruisers on one of the missions. Exactly the same principle as we've seen before. Getting close, orbit them fast and shoot them till they're dead. And everything was going fine until eventually we hit a bit of a brick wall in terms of the missions, which was this one right here, Human Cattle, three of five. Now, in this one, I went in in the frigate. It was just too much incoming DPS. It couldn't kill stuff quick enough to basically survive. So we've taken out the Talwar. This is the one that I've been into low second again. It's got the EM screen reinforcer again. I've actually, instead of an invulnerability field on this bit, I've gone with the medium compact shield booster and I've gone with the uh, thermal dissipation amplifier to deal with the resistances. We'll see how that works out. It's not optimized, but we'll have a quick go. It's really to see if we can just get this site down. I'm also messing uh, varying between the passive tank and the active shield tank, as we shall see. Now, the weapon system on the Talwa is still rockets. We haven't gone to light missiles yet. With um, early day skills, it's a little bit of a squish to go up to light missiles. But what you'll see is, because of the short range of the missiles, which is about 7,500 meters, we've got to get into the crowd of the rats, and that means we take all of their damage. Uh, that is the disadvantage of having a short range weapon system when you're fighting a crowd. It's very good in the applications we've seen, like when you want to go in and kill one clone, you want the short range, high damage weapons to kill them as quickly as possible and break their tank. But anyway, we've had to run away and repair, as you saw there, the closest nearest citadel. I've actually converted this into a passive tank fit just to see the cap pressure was a bit heavy. I could fit one or two more shield extenders into the rig slots, but I haven't done that yet. Let's just see how we get on, shall we? And one disadvantage of an active shield tank over active armor is that there isn't a shield uh, rig that will make you rep more when you cycle. It will just rep faster, but it just increases the cap pressure. Anyway, here we're getting webbed, which isn't great, especially in a destroyer, which isn't quick anyway. And as a result of that and the incoming damage from the rats, again, we're going to need to run away. But there's no problem, certainly early game, in not being able to complete a site in one go. It's what you're aiming for, obviously, at the end of the day, because it will be quicker. But to come in, clear half a site, like I am, pushing my luck as usual, go off and rep, come back and finish it. It's a valid technique, and there's certainly no shame in it whatsoever. And the more you fly, the more you learn. So what can I say? 
Here's where we are with the missions. You can see the rewards are getting better and our standings are climbing. So we're going through the missions. They do start repeating. I think by the time I've made this video, uh, I've done Rogue Tech three or four times now. I am doing a few more level two missions heading up to the level threes. I've got an older alt I could do those with, but I thought we'd use it with the nice fresh new one. Human cattle, five out of five. We're coming in in the Talwar, but the gated site lands us right in the middle of a good big group of rats. They can get a lot of fire on us quite quickly. We can't take them down quite quick enough and we can't. The basic issue is the lack of the tank to take, sit here and take it. If we could pull range with a long range weapon platform, we could try that. But I've done that quite a lot in videos with destroyers lately. So let's try something different. So I've decided we're gonna get ourselves a cruiser. We're gonna go for the upgrade. That'll give us enough tank. The DPS isn't really the issue. It's just sitting there and killing them. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to rat out every belt in this system and see how we get on. And I'll find some clone soldiers on three successive belts, which is very handy. The Thrasher deals with them very nicely, I'm very pleased to say. I had intended, and I up to this point, or certainly this video, I've not given this alt any cash from any other source. I wanted them to be self-sufficient. So at this stage, I am stuck for the money for a cruiser. I need about 8 million isk and I haven't got it. Uh, I'm coming into low sec and this is basically, uh, for me, there's no other sensible way of doing it. If you didn't have the confidence to come into low sec, guys, I guess you'd need to grind your missions, do some mining, make that money. Or as I said, you could try to do it with a long, longer range, uh, an arty thrasher or get light missiles on a tower, maybe pull range and try to run those these more difficult uh, mission sites that way. And within the next two or three videos will be one featuring an arty thrasher clearing a den. So if you want a bit of a heads up on uh, where to go on that, you'll be seeing that quite soon. But for now, we're just here in the thrasher clearing out these clones, clearing out these rats, killing everything we can. We need to get the money in the bank. And as you can see, layer one systems asteroid belts giving us about seven and a half million plus the bounties to come. Of course, we went out and did a little bit of hacking little bit of a contribution there too a two million isk contribution from the probe not to be sneezed at and now we can get a cruiser so in about 20 minutes of ratting and 20 minutes of hacking we've made ourselves a lot of money about three and a half million in bounties on top of the loot let's go to the shops so which cruiser should we upgrade to where well, we look at the old Mimitar Republic ship tree here past the frigates past the lovely destroyers We've got a choice of four Tech 1 cruisers, the Stabber, which is medium projectile turrets as weapons, and it's quite fast, that one. The Rupture, again, it's medium projectile turrets. That's more of a tanky monster. The Bellicose, it gets bonuses for various types of missiles and target painters. And the Scythe, which is the one I've used the most out of all of these, which is a Logi ship and a very good one too. You could fit and use a Scythe as a combat ship for PvE, I guess, but um, I wouldn't recommend it. Stick to what a hull is bonused for. So I've gone for this beautiful, handsome, looks like it stood up the wrong way, Bellicose. Uh, light missiles, shield tank, obviously. It's bonused for rapid light missile, heavy missile and heavy assault missile rate of fire. And all of these bonuses are applied per level of Minmatar Cruiser. Uh, we've got the bonus to target painter effectiveness and the bonus to explosion velocity on the heavy assault missiles and heavy missiles, which is going to make them apply against smaller targets better. And here we are, Alpha's first bellicose. A little mixture of light missiles there to match the targets. We've got the EM screen reinforcer as the only rig. Tank-wise, just think big slasher. We've got two of the large shield extenders in the mid slot an invulnerability field a target painter which the hull is bonus for remember and a restrained micro warp drive for moving us around up in the top we got the rapid light missile launchers because that's what the hull's bonus for you could use light missile launchers in pve but i like the rapid lights i'm used to them basically i've got three ballistic controls and one damage control down in the bottom we could modify that for more drone damage. We'll look at that another day. Talking of which, we've got two types of drones. We've got the Hobgoblins, which do lovely thermal damage. And some Acolytes, in case EM damage is what we need for a given mission or scenario. 
The hull can fly five drones in a flight. I've only got drones to level four. So four of each is perfect for me because I can only fly four drones at a time, as you can see there. My drone skills are very basic at the moment. Missile skills aren't much better. The other reason I went for the bellicose okay. is because training into medium projectile turrets as well is just a, a big drain on the old queue. But we'll be looking at the ships that require that skill another day. Anyway, here we go. Human cattle, five of five. We are ready for you now. So we're just going to plonk ourselves down here, get the invulnerability field running, get some ships targeted and start hitting them with the missiles. Initially, I'm just going to hit them with the missiles. I just want to see if they can one shot them where we are with that. And as you'll see, we are just under one shotting them. I'm going to speed the footage up now just while we get going. We've got a 29 kilometer range on the light missiles, which is very handy. You will see that we're already getting damage in from the rats and they're 11, 12 kilometers out. So uh, certainly we wouldn't have really even been in range with the rockets on the tower to be uh, taking these down. And as a comparison to the tower, while the bellicose has 50% more DPS as things stand and about three times the tank. And it, as I said, it's the tank that we really just need here to be able to sit out the incoming DPS and plug away at them. So we've got the drones out now. We're going to get them into action. I've not done much drone play in the videos. Um, I may just do one on drone boats because the tech, uh, tech One drone boats, frigates and destroyers are very good, powerful ships, especially in PvP. I don't mean even in PvP. Um, probably uh, a bit underused in my estimation. And you do know how I like my destroyers anyway, especially as a means of getting low skilled players rich and adventurous. So we've taken down a couple of cruisers. Absolutely no problem. I think they were Blackbirds. We've got some Amar ships to take down now. The objective of this mission is to clear all of the enemies from this around this gate, get through this gate, spot the enemy battleships in the next pocket, and then get back and report in. I've noticed just in time my drones were taking aggro, so I pulled those in. I don't really need the extra DPS from them to deal with this, and I don't want to run short because uh, I don't want to have to go back to the shops. So just pull them in if they're getting aggro. Once they aggro's back on you, it's usually safe to put them back out, but I just leave them in and let the missiles do the work. We're getting a tracking disruptor on us there, you can see, but we don't have any tracking involved in firing missiles, so that really isn't an issue for us. I do run my capacitor pretty low at one point, burning around to get into range, so just keep an eye on that. But other than that, I don't really see what concerns you're going to have on this site. Now, as you do the level two missions, they will repeat and you may want to go back and use your frigate or your destroyer just to get a bit more time in it on the missions that you know it can handle. Roll out the cruiser when appropriate or just use the cruiser and you will just power through these missions now. Uh, but we're also quite soon, I should think, I'm very interested in the ship. We're going to be looking at ways to use this on sites. Quick plug there for the Eve Uni Wiki. If you want the info and the backstory and all the details on the missions, just to peruse at your leisure, it's all there for you. This ship's going to be one I'm definitely going to take into low sec and do a bit of ratting and maybe even a bit of PvP. It's, uh, what is this, the rusty relative of the Caracal. Uh, bit of a different balance with the missiles and drones. Obviously a Caracal can only fly two drones. We're through the gate here. And I misspoke earlier because there is actually this second room. We clear out the guys in this second room and activate the gate in this room, then go through to the third room, then see the battleships and then run away. But <laughs> what does it matter? It's just some more stuff to kill for this uh, beautiful bellicose. It's dealing with it very well. Um, yeah, very pleased with this one so far. And that bonus it has for the uh, heavy assault missiles and heavy missiles means it gives it, gives it a bit more versatility. Look, look the explosion radius bonus means they'll be better at hitting smaller targets so you can have um, that weapon system on your ship which is going to be more appropriate for fighting cruisers or bigger depending on your circumstances you've got the drones to take out the frigates but if you need to take out some frigates and destroyers along the way your your bigger missiles are bonus to deal with them so it's going to be quite an interesting ship to, to get the hang of and also balancing the drone and missile damage as your skills sort of move um, always check your fits as well. I'll show you in the next video the bellicose is in. Just to see, just take out a ballistic control, drop in a drone damage modifier, see which one gives you the best DPS figure and which way you want to go. I think at the moment there's probably about 10 DPS in it. If I did put a drone damage modifier on, I didn't have one handy. And as you can see, it's made no difference whatsoever. We've done it. And with no stress whatsoever. So there we go. 
Alpha's first bellicose is a success so far. So guys, I hope you found that useful and enjoyable. If so, please leave it a like. Share it if you think someone else might enjoy it. Let you know. Subscribe if you want to stay in touch. The videos will be rolling out regularly now. I think we're settled down here at Dadex HQ. If you'd like to see us use a particular ship to do a particular activity and give it a go, then feel free to make a suggestion down below. For now, take care, guys. Enjoy your eve. I hope you're all keeping well. These are funny times for all of us, so keep safe. Be nice to each other. Remember, even is believing. And for now, take care and goodbye.